Hello YouTube, how's it going? Um, so my name is Tyler and I was hoping to do a tutorial video today because with the quarantine and isolation, we've had to become a lot more adaptive to different technologies in our daily life. Um, I know I'm taking school online and that's a big part of it. So I wanted to show you guys how to use a certain piece of technology and maybe this will be helpful for you. So this video is going to be about what's called the clothes hanger. Now, this is what it looks like up close, in case you needed that for any reason. So I know what you're thinking. Tyler, how the heck did you get this giant clothes hanger inside of your shirt? And how is it that the shirts are able to levitate off the ground because of it? So, you know, we're gonna go into all of that and how I was able to make this work and function properly. So, uh. Here we have our materials. Um, here we have what's called a shirt. And this is the clothes hanger I've introduced to you, you know, a few seconds ago. So when you look really closely, you can see this clothes hanger is a lot bigger than this small hole. Believe it or not, there is a way for it to fit. So in order to properly do this, you would have to put one side in at a time and it'll work like so. So now we have our shirt with the clothes hanger inside. Now for the difficult part. So you can see there's a metal bar here. You might have not noticed it at first, but that's what holds the hangers in place, levitating from the ground. So if you can look at this hook here, if this hook goes around the pole here, it'll actually stay. I'll do that again in case you missed it. Just like that.